the, the thing is about quilting, about cats. Because <laughs> it's a hot topic. It's right a now. hot topic, keto. You put something there about keto. And so, again, keto is still hot, and people who. And so, when we and see yet, articles. And yeah. yet. Despite its popularity, despite its hotness, there is still a lot of misinformation out there. Yeah. And that is basically what we're going to be talking yeah. about today. But when, and, but when I see this article, this title, Six Dangers of the Keto Diet According to Experts. They have not stated in the article who the experts are. Yeah. I'm well, assuming they, it's I think they nutritionists a few nutritionists. of some kind, but they're not necessarily ketogenic experts. Yeah, they, I think they're they reference a few... But but the whole point is, I guess when I when you sent me this link to this article, I looked at it like, okay, here's somebody else trying to. So I need readers. What's a good thing to write about? I'll write about keto, and I'll be I'll go the opposite way, and I'll say that it's dangerous, and this is a reason or why possible potential yes. dangers. And so yes. so again, we're just. We're just going to be this, reading and trying it. to help you maybe debunk some right, of this Right, because you may still run into people who you talk to who still think this. Because although we, you know, in our world, keto is a big thing. It's our lifestyle and so on, so on and so forth. There's still people who don't do keto. There's still people who have a lot of misinformation about keto. And these types of articles, they will read it and they'll and say, see, that's, that's, that's what I meant. I right. knew that was wrong. So anyway, let's get into it and see if we can keep this video under 25 minutes. Okay. All right. So, so the first danger is increased cholesterol levels. Yes. So this is definitely a hot topic in this lifestyle. Yes. Because the ketogenic diet requires that most of your calories come from fat. And so uh, a lot of people are under the misconception that eating a high fat diet then can increase your cholesterol and level. Fat's been demonized in our right. diet for years. Right. It's been demonized. The saturated right. fat has been Sat demonized. Yes, it period. Has. That's yes. why we have things like margarine and yes. you know oils that don't come from natural sources versus you know back when you know this country first started it was lard and butter and you know tallow and all those other right. things, but. So now saturated fat has been demonized. It's getting a little better than it once was, but still people consider, you know, this lifestyle to bring on high cholesterol. I think the greatest rebuttal for this particular topic is people who are actually experts in the way the ketogenic diet can affect your cholesterol levels and who I automatically think of as Dave Feldman. Dave Feldman, okay. Yes. I do too. I think he is well. the cholesterol guy and yeah. he is constantly and consistently doing documented studies both on himself and his associates and so he has 